Hello world! Yes, I'm in my car again because I have just finished dinner with one of um, my lovely friends, Wendy, who I'm sure will be watching this later. So hi, Wendy. <laughs> um, she has the cutest little girl named Mila and um, it's just so nice to see the joy of a child, you know? A lot of times we get so caught up in our own world and like, oh, everything's not perfect and oh, this is expensive and oh, this isn't the best phone or this isn't this. And then you see a child like just absolutely ecstatic <laughs> for a yellow balloon, you know? It makes you realize life is actually really not that bad. You should be as joyful as a little girl with a yellow balloon at Chili's. Um, yeah, we went to Chili's. I haven't been in a while because the one by my house is not very good. But this one was so good. Um, I had a bacon cheeseburger. Really healthy, on a really good diet for 2018. So um, that's going great. <laughs> no, I didn't even make a resolution to lose weight or gain weight or go to the gym or whatever because I never keep it and then I just feel bad about myself so yes I just am taking every day one at a time what did I eat today today I had a jack potato which in American terms is a baked potato which is healthy and then a bacon cheeseburger for dinner so you know really good um, so today was really successful day. I finally finished and published my first YouTube video. So um, I had commented previously today on this page with my link to my channel. And um, if not, you can find it. It's the same as this group, Angela Live 365. And yeah, go check it out. Um, I'm super nervous to do it. I'm recording it, and I just try to be real and honest and. Um, like speak from the heart, I don't know, like from myself, like not try to make up anything, just really just be honest on there. So um, the first video is about um, five things I've learned so far this year about like how to stay positive. And so mine's pretty much all about like my morning routine. Um, that's really where like my positivity has come from this year and I wake up every morning at like 5 30 in the morning so somebody waking up at 5 30 in the morning can be positive I think um, it's possible anything is possible <laughs> so I've put some some tips on there that I found that um, have helped me and um, yeah it's like for me you know one of the biggest things I talked about was waking up in the morning in the dark I think that's like was my hardest adjustment to waking up early like getting up at 5 5 30 every day in the dark is really tough so I have one of these lights which actually I had bought to use on the ship um, but on a cruise ship you don't really I wasn't in an apartment where I had to wake up so I didn't really use it that much because I could kind of wake up whenever which don't tell anybody yet don't tell anybody else on the ship that because they won't be friends with you. But um, anybody who has worked on a cruise ship knows what I'm talking about. So I have this like solar alarm clock. It's by Philips and it mimics the sunrise. So you can set it for 30 minutes prior to like when you want to wake up and it lights the room slowly. Which I'm very thankful to have an amazing husband who doesn't mind to wake up when I wake up because... Um, I know that that's rare and I'm very very thankful to have him and the fact that he will let me turn all the lights on in the morning at 6 o'clock <laughs> or 5 30 whenever I start teaching so um, yeah that's one of my main things I find that like leads with my positivity and then also just I mean I talk go into more detail on the YouTube video but it's like just realizing that, um, I talked about this I think the other day, is like nothing that you do today can change yesterday, so just like keep on going, you know? There's no point in stressing and getting all frustrated about something that happened yesterday or this morning or a year ago, because nothing's going to change that. So just go forward with positivity and put great energy out and it'll come back. So. 
yeah, I hope you guys check it out. And also today, I took my little dogs to the vet. Well, I guess they're not my dogs, but I pretty much take care of them so they feel like my dogs. Um, they, one of my dogs has allergies to like everything. Grass, humans, whatever is around her in this world, she is allergic. So she was taking these pills and the pills really didn't work for her. And so the doctor switched to this like shot that she gets now and um, it's really, it's doing really wonders for her now. She doesn't scratch because it would keep me up. Yeah, me. I'm being selfish. Like, not about the dog. <laughs> her scratching would, um, would keep me up all night. So that's what I would get annoyed at. So... Um, yeah, it was a bit of a selfish reason for us to get her the shot, but I'm pretty sure she's happy about it too. And um, I could tell that the shot was wearing off because um, I was woken up a couple of times by her biting her paws and scratching. So we sometimes give it her a half of um, like an adult antihistamine. Um, the vet said it's fine and that kind of calms the side effects, but... Um, I can't remember the name of it right now, um, of the pill, um, of the shot that we give her, but if you want to know um, what it is, if your dog suffers with something like that as well, um, like comment or leave a message and I will find it out and, and send it to you. I think it's called like sign, 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 something like that. But if you want to know what it is, just comment or send me a message and I will tell you what it is. Um, I'm sure like most vets do it. And yeah, so it was a pretty successful day. I mean, I had like 10 things on my list, about five got done, but I'm just gonna focus on the five that did get done and stay positive on that. So yeah, great night, great ending to a great Wednesday. I did have a black cat come up to me today and like try to snuggle with me. And I know probably in the past that I would have that like mean something. But I am just saying that the cat wanted to come snuggle. Is I'm not going to be, what's the word? Superstitious. I'm not gonna be superstitious. Um, hopefully tomorrow I will be able to finish the list of things that I had done, I should have done today. And I might be buying a plane ticket to also go somewhere else. So hopefully I will have some good news on that as well. All right world, it's day. 17 and I'm still going strong <laughs> Goodbye